so let us see different kind of cells that are found in the stem of a plant let us observe the transverse section of spinach plant so we are observing the section thin slice of the stem so how the slice was made so if this is the plant so the plant is cut here and it will have the cells like this so we have taken thin part of it like a small disc so from the stem we have taken a small part a small thin slice of that horizontally it is cut and the thin slice is observed under microscope to observe the different kind of cells so here basically we observe four different groups of cells say this is group a we are not giving the exact names of the cells as we will learn the different types of cells and functions in ninth class here just we are understanding the variation just we are understanding the presence of different cells we are not going into the detail what is that cell what is its name and what is its function at this class at this standard a so let us see this group this outer one is called as a and uh, we call uh, this is called as uh, group b the next to the a and this is called as group c and this is called as group d so we can uh, see their function the group a the outermost cells they are protective in nature they form the covering they protect the inner cells protection let us see the b the b group cells are below the a layer and these cells they perform photosynthesis if it is green if you see spinach the stem is also green that means it has chlorophyll and carry out photosynthesis so photosynthesis is done the layer that is below the layer a group now the c group the c group you can see some bundle like ones some egg shaped bundles so these bundles will be traveling throughout the stem of the plant so they are in the function of vascular function that means transportation transport of water transport of food is done by this bunches of these cells so different kind of cells are there in the clusters in the bundles so these bundles they are in the function of transport and the center one it forms that uh, basic uh, um, the stuff the inner content uh, and gives support to the plant and in uh, bigger plants or in trees this area will be empty this area will be empty in mature plants in small plants it will form some soft tissue so now let us see different uh, kinds of cells and their functions so this is the variation of cells we observe in case of a plant so we have taken a cross section of a spinach plant we can use a tridax gaddichamanthi mokka that plant section also we can take with the help of a, a nice um, a blade we can cut the thin section and it can be observed under a microscope now let us see the different kinds of animal cells now let us see different kinds of animal cells like uh, these are the cells from human body we have different type of cells in different body parts which perform different functions if you see the muscle cells so here we have a smooth muscle cell we have striped muscle cell this is a variation different kind of muscle cells we have if you see the structure of the bone cell it will be like this and we can uh, see the different uh, shapes uh, cell a narrow cell this is a single cell see how it is this is also called as a neuron this is called as a neuron see it has got a cell body and so many dendrites and this is called axon uh, which it is connected to different kind of nerve cells to form a very big network of nerve cells and even we see variation in our blood different kind of cells red blood cells red blood cell shape is like this so both sides it is compressed if you see the red blood cell from side it appears like this and uh, wbc white blood cells if you see the white blood cells lymphocytes monocytes neutrophils eosinophils black platelets likewise there are different types of cells in their uh, which vary in their structure and function so these are some examples of uh, different types of cells present in human body 
so about uh, the tissues that they form and the functions of the tissues we will study in the higher classes so just we are understanding the variation of cells in their shape and structure and function in plants and in animals in this lesson